Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on a mixed media canvas. I have this uh, triangle canvas that I bought from my local store. And I'm going to use some chipboards from Dusty Attic. Here are two uh, different designs that I'm going to use on the background. I'm going to cut it uh, randomly just to have some interest at the back. And as usual, you will find list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog. I'm just cutting this in pieces and I'm going to place it on my canvas. And uh, I'm, uh, I want some of the uh, part of the chipboard to be uh, outside of the canvas. This gives uh, another interest to your project. I really like it when uh, you go off the page or uh, off uh, any surface that uh, I am working. And now uh, I am going to cut this one as well and uh, place it on my canvas. Also want to use a lot of flowers today uh, I have uh, lots of flowers in my stash and I'm trying to actually use up, use them these are not from uh, specific brands uh, all mixed up uh, so you can use whatever you have or whatever you like uh, that you see around I chose the pink and purple ones uh, because I thought I was going to create a project uh, about around these colors Later on you will see that I changed my mind and went for a totally different color scheme. But anyway I was able to cover it with gesso so it doesn't matter. I chose some branches from a Scrapiniac um, chipboard uh, set as well. Just to have it around my uh, flowers. And uh, I love these birds uh, from uh, Dusty Attic again. And I'm going to have a few uh, around my flowers again. So I kind of created the scenery. I took a picture of my layout with my phone so that I don't forget it. And uh, now it's time to stick everything down. I'm using my hot glue gun. Uh, this is one that operates with battery. I don't like cables uh, lying around. So I chose one uh, that I could use. Uh, without electricity. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, it works with four batteries. However, the glue inside it finished and uh, somehow I couldn't find where the rest of the <laughs> glues are, the sticks are. So I'm switching to uh, tacky glue here. Uh, it will be fine. It's the same thing eventually. that I have these plastic uh, shapes uh, that I got from Amazon uh, just to have some texture uh, it's good to have these uh, things you will see the link down below so you can explore and uh, get it for yourself if you want to have one Now it's time to gesso everything so that I can give uh, whatever color I want. Uh, I'm using uh, 
light gesso as a first coat and uh, I'm going to do another coat. And here is my canvas I, I, after two uh, coats of gesso and I decided to use these uh, little uh, transparent pebbles. Prima has these as well. Mine is from eBay, uh, from a supplier I, uh, I saw. It was uh, cheaper, uh, so I got this uh, from there. But uh, I will put the one uh, that is Prima. I think you can find uh, these things on eBay as well that are unbranded. Now I'm going to cover these with a gesso as well because uh, whatever color I put on top uh, I want them uh, to take that color too and uh, I actually had the original idea of using these uh, embellishment mousses from uh, Nuvo basically waxes and I'm using this brush uh, thinking that it would go through the details as well so I can give color However, I discovered it's not working like that. Uh, probably uh, it's much easier uh, to do it uh, when you want to highlight the colors, uh, etc. It doesn't work on layers like this. I wanted to show you this uh, and now I'm going to switch to my uh, sprays. I'm going to use Limdi's uh, Stamp Gang sprays and uh, Prima Color Bloom sprays. And I will use uh, some uh, tones of blue, uh, turquoise, more like teal actually and uh, lime green. And somehow I cannot get the color out of this bottle, uh, it's blocked so I spent a lot of time to open it uh, and finally I got it uh, and uh, as a third color I'm using a color bloom spray that is in lime green color. I'm going back to my teal a little bit and then uh, blue basically I keep spraying until I get the right uh, color density that I want and the color co combination that I want on my canvas both these uh, sprays are uh, iridescent so there is a really nice shine on my canvas that I will show you later quite happy with it now and here is how it looks uh, very shiny uh, gorgeous colors coming together and now I guess I can use my Nuvo waxes uh, I'm trying again and uh, probably it will give a nice uh, additional shine on it so I'm using my finger to go over my images you will find the colors that I'm using down below at the description area. I used the turquoise color before and now it's a kind of citrus green. And uh, I'm going over the petals uh, just to give a little bit more highlight to my flowers. I found this uh, uh, Imagine uh, chipboard in my stash. I think I, by the time I got it from the US, either Hobby Lobby or uh, Michaels. Um, so I'm just uh, spraying the same blue color that I used on my canvas. And uh, I'm going over it with my turquoise uh, wax again. 
and I'm going to actually place it on the lightest parts where there is lime green because I want it to stand out however it will be cohesive uh, as a whole uh, because I used the same color that I used on the edges I'm quite happy with this uh, combination now it's time to do a little bit more highlighting with gesso. I'm using heavy gesso from Prima. Uh, don't be scared to ruin your images. Uh, all it will do is uh, to give a bit more highlight and it will bring the details uh, to the front. So I'm just highlighting the edges of my uh, word so that it's even more clear. As you see, I'm just randomly uh, picking up some details uh, just to make them uh, even more prominent, come to the front. I will do my white splashes. I'm using my Ecoline white ink to do so. And I will add uh, one final detail. I have these uh, prills uh, that matches uh, these colors perfectly. By coincidence, I have only two of these little jars with different colors. Uh, they are little uh, stones. Uh, they have many of them with different colors. I only have uh, two and uh, I just uh, remembered that these colors match this canvas perfectly. So I'm using my matte medium to uh, apply these uh, little stones on my canvas as well to create nice uh, details. it is all finished uh, looking nice uh, I will show you the details as much as I can and I hope I can catch the shimmer that it has you will find the list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as usual and you will see the close-up pictures in my blog and at the end of this video I hope you enjoyed this uh, project I enjoyed it a lot uh, creating all these details and uh, using these colors don't forget to give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you like my videos that's how i know uh, you want to see more thanks a lot for watching and see you next time mm -hmm.